Your body is made up of cells that fit together like pieces in a puzzle. When you get hurt, your cells can multiply and replace the lost cells. But if a lot of your cells are lost, this healing power isn't enough. In these cases, you can use an implant, like an artificial arm, to make up for the missing cells. This implant, however, has to fit into the puzzle, meaning that it has to be acceptable to your body. Your immune cells will attack materials that they don't like, which is nearly everything. But the material also shouldn't be uncomfortable or easily broken. A biocompatible material is designed to fit into the puzzle. It's compatible with your biology. So how can this kind of material be designed for something like an artificial arm? We can borrow a solution used most famously in hip replacements, made out of titanium alloy, a strong metal which your immune cells usually don't mind. In fact, your bone cells will accept titanium alloy as their own, and bond with it. In this situation, titanium alloy is a pretty biocompatible material, so artificial arms can be attached in the same way. Step 1. Insert a titanium rod into the bone. Step 2. The bone cells merge with the rod. Step 3. Attach the artificial arm to the rod. The result is both comfortable and biologically acceptable. Thanks to the problem-solving abilities of material scientists, humans can be supplied with not just artificial limbs, but contact lenses, pacemakers, and many other devices. We all live longer, more comfortable lives. And material science and engineering makes it possible.